Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy at Silent Vibe. We're coming in again with another video. Now today, we're going to be talking about team of the year. We're going to be talking about some investments, some stocking up the club, some just basically slow term, long term investments. And when I say that, I mean probably like three, four days we're going to keep hold and then we're going to start flogging off. Also, I've got some sniper filters towards the end, guys, to show you how to make some money for right now. So, uh, don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell, hit the sub button, guys, and let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video as well. See you guys in the video. Right, before we get into any of the filters, let me just quickly show you what is sold from last night's video. Now, that method last night was absolutely popping. It probably will be the same tonight, guys, so make sure you go back and check that video. But as you can see, all the informs, the 80s, the 81s, isn't the Aki sold on, guys? Now, bear in mind, these cards here, I was making nearly 2,000 coins profit on most of these cards, okay? And I've still got another 40 to 50 to sell. As you can see, these 75 rated informs are selling. Again, I picked them up for 9 Point two K sold one for ten point five as eight hundred coins every single card. I probably made in the region of about four to five hundred K just last night in about an hour's trading. But with that said, let's get into some of these filters. Right, okay, so let me start off this episode, guys, with the team of the year predictions. Okay. Now this is only one of a few that have been predicted. But also you got you know, let's have a quick run through of what we got here. So we got Neuer in goal. And then we have Alex Arnold in the right back. Now, a lot of people are saying that the Alex Arnold is going to be pretty much a, a guaranteed uh, team of the year. Then we've got Ramos and Van Dyke. Now, I'm not sure because obviously Van Dyke's been injured. There may be an opportunity for someone else. But I would say it's pretty much 90% sure that Van Dyke will get it. And I do hope he does get it. Uh, also, in the left back, we got our boy Davis. Now, Davis is probably one of the best left backs. I'm very, very uh, confident he will get one. But look at that pace that he could potentially get, guys. I mean, his base card is 96 or 97 already. So he's absolutely fastest, probably the fastest player in FIFA. So he's going to be highly required. Okay. Then let's move into the cams and center, center uh, mids, which is uh, Fernandez, Kimmich, and De Bruyne. Now, De Bruyne's not, a, you know, he's normally in team of the year, okay? Um, and he's normally one of the better ones to pack. So he's definitely in there. Kimmich is obviously, um, it could be between him and, and one other. But Fernandez, the way he's got most of the cards this year, he's probably going to be it as well, guys. Which does mean anyone that did his player with a month SBC, that's unfortunate because he is probably going to be quite expensive on this one as well. Then we obviously got our Messi and Ronaldo's. We always know they're going to be it. They're the best players. They actually attract people to wanting to buy uh, packs. And then we got our forward as Lewandowski. Now, this could be Lewandowski or Harry Kane. Um, again, it could be, you know, either one. Uh, but it's looking like it could be Lewandowski. So, what we're going to do now is quickly pull over what we should be doing with investing ready for team of the year. Now, nothing has been uh, on the home screen yet. Okay, and I say yet. Uh, with that, though, hold on, let me just sort this lighting out. That's a little bit bright, isn't it, that, that white screen? Um... We need to talk about the manual noise, okay? So let me just quickly pull this image over so we can go through step by step, right? So let's go with that down. Pull that up. So obviously Neuer, if he gets a team of the year, guys, he's going to be out of packs. And now this is what we're going to be looking at. But don't invest too much money right now because... Team of the year has not been announced. There's been no loading screens. There's been no set date. No so many days to it. Once there does uh, become a a, a, um, a loading screen, the market's going to crash huge. Okay, we're already on a crash because a lot of people are selling off. But it will absolutely crash the market. So you might be able to get some of these players a little bit cheaper. But I want this video up now. So when you do see a loading screen, come right back to it. And list everything you need to invest in. Or list it now. And then when, it, when you see it, buy them. Because these here, if they're out of packs, are going to drop like flies, guys. Okay, they're going to be down to like 30k. So we've got our boy Neuer. Okay, obviously he's already at a low peak of about 47k. Okay, we've got our, obviously our boy Davis. Now Davis is only 4k. So this could be a really, really good investment. And you're probably saying, you know, why, why are we investing in these? If they're out of packs and people are still playing weekend league. Okay, they want these for their teams. Now, people are going to be buying these, you know, for 4K instead of buying his 
team of the year for four million. Okay, or you know, realistically, he's probably probably going to be about one point one million. Uh, so you know, the cheaper option for that weekend is these cards here, and that's where we're going to make the money because there's no uh, no supply of cards other than the ones we're holding. Uh, but everyone wants that card. There's a lot of demand. Okay, so we can pretty much charge what we want to charge. So I'd be very surprised if this card is not required at about five point five k. Also, some people are going to be putting these into SBCs over the next couple of days. So, like, you know, there is an idiot out there that will SBC this card, okay? Knowing most of us won't, they will. Okay, so let's get rid of that one there. Obviously, our boy Kevin De Bruyne. Now, Kevin De Bruyne is down at 118,000 coins. Uh, I mean, he's at pretty much his lowest he's ever been on FIFA, okay? And he's starting to ping back up. Now, with obviously the announcement of Team of the Year coming very, very soon... Uh, he will drop again. So again, these are not investments right now. You might want to start picking up a couple if you can on open bid. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised to see these, you know, Kevin De Bruyne drop into about 100k when it gets, uh, gets swing. But then, uh, because Kevin De Bruyne is such an obvious one, he may start pinging up because everyone is starting to buy. So, you know, this is a potential card that you could, could actually do right now. But the rest of them I would say I'd leave for a minute. Okay, so let's get rid of Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, our boy Ramos again coming in with the centre back. Now, these are not all the cards. Okay, there is potentially other cards that could get team of the uh, team of the year, and this is also not a guarantee. Okay, this is a prediction. Um, so, what we're going to do here is obviously invest with what we can see and what we common knowledge know is going to happen. And the dog is doing it again every time I hit that live button. So, okay, let's get into this one here. As you can see, he's pretty much at his lowest again. He was at 44k. He's up to about 50k. Yep, so he's, he's starting to rise a little bit. But this was the uh, the promo uh, just before Christmas. Okay, uh, 51k on PlayStation, 52k on Xbox. I wouldn't be surprised to see him down at about 35, maybe 40. No, about, about 40k maybe if the market takes a massive crash. Okay, normally the market really affects the lower players, not these high meta ones, but they do drop in price. Now, obviously, our boy Kimmich, again, is going to be uh, be out of packs as well. So, for 40, 40k card, okay, he's pretty much gone up over this period here, and then he's dropping back down. Now, if you've got a lot of money, this is what I'm next going to suggest, okay? Now, with, obviously, the um, team of the group stage... Sorry, road to the finals. Okay, these actually get upgrades. Now, these are going to be out of packs as well, guys. But if people have got more money, they're going to be wanting to invest in these cards, okay? Instead of their team of the year. So, you know, Davis, that potentially looks like they could be going through to the next round, then gets an upgrade. This card here is going to go flying up, okay? But, but, with everyone panic selling off for team of the year, okay... People want as many coins as they can get their hands on. So people that have been holding this card, that packed him or bought him when he was down at like you know, uh, you know, four hundred k. Okay, those people are going to want to sell this card now. They can make themselves two hundred k profit. So they're going to sell it off. And what we're going to see is a lot of people selling, and they're going to be knocking each other off. Now, one way to tell if someone's panic selling or you know the market's being panic sold. Is if they're undercutting each other. If they're undercutting each other, that means they've looked up the price, they've sold it a little bit cheaper. Now, if you get that at a perfect point, they will they they will go lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Okay. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to pick some of these cards up. Now, obviously, if you've got you know 400k, is you're not going to be able to pick this card up. Okay. So we're going to look at like Kevin De Bruyne, 413, Fernando. Um, you know, 756. Now, there's some people in my community that have got about 10 million coins. These cards here, guys, are going to be a very, very good investment because I wouldn't be surprised if you can pick them up for maybe under 600k. Okay, uh, who is who is that card that I I went for? And it was a card I bought for the right back, and it took a massive hit with the guaranteed uh, freeze bag. I actually lost 40k on him, but I know he'll go back up in February when they when they start playing their games again, right? Um, so I'm just going to keep hold of him. I know I could have bought him now for 110k instead I bought him for 150k. Uh, but you didn't know this party bag freeze SBC thing was coming out. So that's kind of unfortunate. So maybe keep an eye on some of these players here, especially as well, guys. If you know any other players that are still in the tournament, look at those. I mean, these here are just from the team of the year that I've, I've suggested. I mean, you could invest in these as well. 
purely because people will, if they've got a little bit more money, invest in this one here instead of his base card. But Fernandez, a lot of people would have got his uh, player of the month, which means this card's kind of irrelevant unless he goes through. Um, so again, that is pretty much how it is. But also, if you're still here at this point of the video, guys, okay, make sure you follow me on Twitter because stuff like this, okay, I upload pretty much whenever I find it. So let's get in to the actual Xbox market right now, guys. Right, okay, so we're back on the Xbox. Now, what you would have saw at the very start of this video was the cards selling from last night. Now, last night's video was pretty insane, guys. I uploaded it super late, but as you can see, my cards are selling. Okay, and this is called the uh, the special card trading. Now, I'm literally picking them up for super, super cheap. Like, you know, this one here, Ezra, we picked them up for 9.8K. I can easily sell them on now for like 12K. But at this moment in time, I'm trying to push them a little bit further. Now, you can see there's one at 11,250. Now, this is the morning times, okay? Uh, people are selling off because they didn't get them sold from last night. And that's that's exactly what we don't want to get sucked into, okay? So, I'm not expecting to sell any of these cards during the day, but they will sell tonight on the bounce. Now, as you can see on this one here, I picked up for 9.4K. I can easily sell them on for 10,750, which you saw at the very start of the, um, of the video. Now, reason why, okay, is purely because there is a freeze... Uh, party bag SBC, which requires a team of the week. Now, you've got to think outside the box with uh, with FIFA, okay? So, or with how other people think. Now, a lot of people got the icon tokens. They did the uh, 2583 plus players, which gives you a lot of fodder, okay? Uh, but they don't have uh, informs. Now, what you can do is you can actually put up a couple 86s from that, which will cost you nothing, and then you only have to spend 9k or 10k on a very discarded. Uh, inform. Now, this is why these inform prices are a little bit higher because they are required. I know some people go, well, you know, why would you buy a 75 rated inform? Well, in the long run, okay, over the course of that SVC, actually paying 10 and a half thousand coins for a 75 rated is a lot cheaper than buying a uh, 84 rated inform or let's say someone like this, an 82 rated inform that's 17k when you could just put in some of your untradeable alibers or you know uh whatever you pat out of that card uh, out of that uh token and a lot of people that don't normally have high rated cards in their packs would have had high rated fodder because of that so they use this and then they go and spend 10k and then they get this upgraded card so that's the whole reason of why we were picking up those sort of players and again i'm going to run you through some of those now okay so as you see here i picked up uh, an mc tommy I call him MC Tommy. It's just, it's just kind of funny. Inside joke with me and him. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly list this guy up. Now, last night he was listing up at 17K. Now, I'm going to tell you guys to do the same. Yesterday, during the live stream, I told all the viewers, pick this card up when he's 14, 14 and a half thousand coins. He will go up to 17K in the evening. Now, I don't know if he'll do that again tonight. I didn't know he was going to do it last night, but I predicted it. And uh, it works, guys. So a lot of people made two or 3,000 coins Every single card, he actually went up to about 16, uh, sorry, 18,000, which means people did make a nice chunk of change off him. So, if you see in this video, pick him up now while he's cheap. Cards are always cheaper in the morning, and uh, sell them on in the evening, guys, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into the uh, 10, 20, 30 trading method again. Just quickly show you a little bit more. Now, there is a lot of trading methods out there, but this one at the moment works because of the uh, team of the week upgrade packs as well. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to go over to special, you need to go over to 10 here, up to 20, and then up to 30, guys, okay? Now, obviously, this is a team of the year uh, video, but I do want to bring you guys some sort of uh, some sort of filters, okay? But you can catch me during my live stream today on Twitch for more filters, guys, okay? I've got to play a few games and then get on the filters for that as well. Now, as you can see here, guys... Uh, Stindle is actually around 16 to 17 K, so that's not really any profit there, okay? Um, but he will he will actually probably come down tonight, okay? But you want to look at cards like this here. Now, look at this. You can pick him up for 10 K. You'll be able to flog him on later tonight. Now, let's have a quick look what we can actually sell him off for. I mean, we can sell him off for about 11 K. Uh, so, again, we're making huge profit with this card being at this here and he's almost not selling at 9.9k guys so i'm gonna be listing this card up at 11k straight away get that sold and uh get my money back again 9.9 it's still making me 600 coins if i sell him off at 11,000 or not guys i may even go 11 
250. Uh, but that's another way of just quickly making money. As you can see, there's quite a bit of money to be made there. Again, with this 81 rated, okay, we want to have a look at the average price. Now, he's obviously out of packs. So he's about 13k, but there's none really low. So we'll move on to the next one. Again, with this one here. Now, this is discard value at 14k, right? So I'm pretty sure you can't make any money off this guy. Uh, again, you know, we're going to have a look at this one. Now, here's 82 rated card. This one, one about... He's actually up at 17k. There's one there at 15k. Um, you can get some absolute steals sitting at the um, at the 59th minute as well, guys. Just to let you know, so you know, go up to the 59th minute, have a little look what you can pick up because I'm I'm sure you'll pick up some steals. I made 6k off one inform last night just because of that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly have a little look. Now Tadic is a really good one. He's he's actually selling for about 17 and a half thousand coins. If you can pick him up for 15, 16k. Which you should be able to, okay? Uh, you'll make some good money on that one. Again, let's have a look at Andre Silva. He's normally a good one that we've been flipping at this moment in time. He looks at about 13,000 coins is what I would say he's at. I mean, my market's obviously bugged at 15k here. Okay, but I'd say he's sat at about 13, um, 13 to 14k. So I'm going to pick that one up there or try. And that's basically just special card trading, the 10, 20, 30 method. Now, the other thing you could do is what I'm going to touch on from last night, guys. Okay, you can go into gold team of the week. Okay, and you can actually put this at min price. But you can go up to a max price of, you know, 9.9k. Okay, and this will filter everything lower than what you need. Now, if you look at this guy here, okay, he's actually probably only selling for about 10k. But he will be a little bit more later today. Okay, uh, I mean, I wouldn't too much touch on that card. Um... This one here, 9.2k. Obviously, you can sell him on for about 11,000 coins. So, this is a really, really good method of, uh, of picking up those coins. Uh, but there was a few other ones. Like, you know, this one here. This this could be quite a good one. Looks like, yeah, he's going for about 10,500 coins. He's out of packs. Okay, so he's going to rise up to about 12,500 tonight. Again, really, really good card to be flipping. Uh, uh, this guy here. This guy here last night is the one I was selling on. Now, again, you can list this one up for 12,000 coins and get him sold, okay? There's a few there at 11, 11,750. That's because, again, like I said, it's the morning time. But, again, he will sell at 12, maybe 12,500, I think we were selling him off for. But anything with, like, a very, very good nation, you know, French, German, Italian, um, Argentinian, they're all going to sell for a little bit more than, let's say, uh, this guy here, the Russian, okay? Because, obviously, they're stronger links for an SVC. Uh, but with that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any other Team of the Year predictions, uh, let me know in the comment section or let me know over on, on Twitter, guys. But uh, with that said, I'll see you guys on the Twitch stream in a few hours' time.